you're already getting the feel that this is a very like tense eye like it's shocked or it's seen something very scary you know what I'm saying so like this is what I mean by like telling a story is that these eyes can tell a story without seeing the entire you know like you know face and this is why like it's powerful to like capture these things so that when you guys do, you know, start creating your characters, whether it's a stylized fashion or, you know, or if, it, if it's a cartoon, then you guys could exaggerate that very so, you know. Um, the eye is going to be pretty wide open, so we want to, you're going to be able to see a little bit of the bottom of the upper lid.
Now, when I draw this ring, right, I'm deciding that, you know, it is going to have, the subject is going to have a dark ring, but I'm not trying to connect it because I want to show, you know, like imperfections, you know, because the human body is an imperfect being, right? So there's always like, there's going to be symmetry, but there's not always going to be symmetry. Like there are going to be things that line up, but they're always going to be like slight imperfections that make it very appealing because it's like, it looks very, you know, like just makes everything look so much more realistic. I don't really have space for eyebrows, but it's all right. So, um, if anything, I challenge you guys to like grab a piece of paper and fill up the entire page of, you know, eyes and just draw as many as you can until, you know, you can't literally can't make up anything else and um and if you guys can't then go look at references and try like getting creative by look by by studying them you know what i'm saying so like i challenge you guys to do that uh hopefully you know that'll show you that by the time you're done you've enhanced your skill level in drawing eyes just because you've taken the journey very seriously by drawing so many of them I mean, like, literally, it helps, like, a big, like, that's, like, honestly, like, one of the reasons why I've gotten to the level I'm at is because of constant practicing. I hope you guys find this very helpful. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and then follow me on Instagram so you guys can get updates on any new content. I am new on YouTube, so don't have a big following, but if you guys want to, you know, maybe share, share this video, uh, share it with your friends. Who are interested in art uh, and want to draw with me in these type of videos and if you guys have any suggestions on maybe upcoming content you guys like like to see me create please leave it down in the comments below and uh, yeah thanks for sticking around and see you guys next time